What's up YouTube, it's Rolio. So today I'm gonna take you behind the scenes, show you my art studio, and I'm gonna walk you through my workflow and show you some of the equipment that I use, as well as show you my camera, my lighting setup, and everything that goes behind the scenes of this particular art channel on YouTube. Let's dive right in. Okay, so if you're new to this channel, my name is Roly. I'm an artist, I've been painting for over 20 years, and I decided to launch a YouTube channel to create a brand new community, an art community within my YouTube channel, and walk you through the tutorials, the different situations when it comes to painting wall murals, painting on a canvas, digital art, the apps on an iPad Pro, it's gonna be all art related, so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, I strongly recommend that you subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be uploading once or twice a week and it's all gonna be art related content. Now I'm gonna take you behind the studio and I'm gonna show you what I'm working with. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my iPhone 8 Plus to film this walkthrough just so I don't bother the camera over there. So we're gonna work our way from left to right. Um, here we have my duffel bag. This is my outdoor bag. I take it with me on my mural jobs. I have a bunch of acrylic paint that I store in here and I carry with me. I've done a video in the past, the past three weeks I think, where I'm comparing and contrasting acrylic paint from the hardware store versus acrylic paint from the art store and the differences in price and quality that you can get from it. So if you have not seen that video, I strongly recommend you go check that video out. Back here I have a cardboard box where I've stenciled my Zico logo on and this is pretty much where I store all of my art prints and I divide them with a really hard cardboard surface just so I can keep my art prints separate from each other so they don't get damaged. This is a shelving unit that I found outside. Literally, I found it outside, and um, one man's trash is truly another man's treasure, so I took it, found it, cleaned it up, polished it up, and here we have it. So now we have different compartments that I use for different purposes. Um, so these are just Montana cans that are old, um, or actually they're used, I just need to go and replace them, so this is just a reminder for me. Here we have a can where I pretty much sit the caps and the tips uh, in, you know, they're submerged in acetone just so I can clean them up. Over here we have my camera situation where uh, I got some lenses going on here. I have a little boom mic. It's nothing out of this world. Um, here we have that little fluffy stuff, the windbreaker, in case we need to go outside and do some audio work. And I have my respirator from 3M. Um, definitely recommend this. this. This thing is awesome. You gotta keep those lungs protected. Now we're moving over to the desk. The desk itself was literally in the trash one day that I found it. It was in the trash, it was covered in like crayon and it had a gloss coat over it that was peeling off. It was in pretty bad condition, but I literally found it right out there in the dumpster, right outside my house. I saw it directly from this window, ran out there, picked it up, brought it to the backyard and started sanding it down. So now I've took it, I sanded it down it's a nice matte finish to it, so I'm super happy that I found it, and it, it was free. All it, take, all it took was a little bit of elbow grease, because my sander broke, and sanded it down, and now I have a perfect workstation with great depth where I can work on paintings, on the iPad Pro, and all that good stuff. This is my MacBook Pro, where I pretty much do all of my graphic design work. I rarely use this because I just got my new toy, which is the Apple iPad Pro. This is the 2018 iPad Pro. It's an 11 inch and um, I can't say enough about this machine. I am currently working on an unboxing video for this machine. There's just too much to say about it. I definitely want to go through the apps. I definitely am using Procreate on a daily basis. I'm using LumaFusion on a daily basis and it's just a powerhouse for any creative to take uh, with him or her everywhere they go. So I usually take this with me in my everyday carry bag which we will get to um, however, so back to my workstation, I usually have a Wacom tablet that I configure and connect to my MacBook Pro where I do Photoshop and Illustrator work. I rarely use it because I've moved over to my brand new favorite toy. So moving along, here we have a TV that was won by a raffle, so a family member gave it to me. And this was the TV that initially came in that box over there. So it's all about repurposing and recycling. Over here we have a PVC pipe, a little system of a PVC pipe that I use as a camera rack and as a lighting rack. And I got this all together, it was like 30 bucks 
at the hardware store. So this is just a one inch PVC pipe that I cut to size. I did not use glue so I can manipulate the position of the PVC pipes. And for example, this arm, this is an arm extension that pretty much drops. Sorry if the camera's moving around a lot. This pretty much drops into place where I can record bird's eye shots, you know, of my iPad Pro. So, and what I do is I just put a pin right through here. I make sure these lines are lined up, which they are not. So somewhere around there. And this case that my phone sits on um, came from my pen case, my pen box, where I keep my pens and pencils. So I pretty much took it off. I took an X-Acto knife, I cut out that square. I took Gorilla Glue and I've put Velcro on that and Velcro on my phone case. So that when the two meet, there's just really nowhere the phone's gonna go. It's secure and then this rotates depending on the angle that I need. I can point it to me, I can point it face down directly on the surface and vice versa. And then when I'm done, I just take it, move it up and out of the way. Okay, so that's what that funky looking PVC pipe thing is. And then I have my cans, which was a part of a $30 bundle with the PVC pipes. I got it all on the same day. These are can lights, which I believe are $8 a piece. And they come with these little uh, energy saver light bulbs, which I got them at 5,000 K, which is the color on the Kelvin scale. Now anything below 5,000 K is gives you like a yellow light. Anything above 5,000 K gives you a more bluer light. So I like to stick to that accurate white light. So I know that when I'm taking a photograph of my artwork, so I can upload it to a third party on demand, like a print on demand service, that I'm getting as close to the color as possible. So moving along, here we have an accessory sort of box where I just dump everything that I don't think I really need, but I may need, so I don't get rid of it. So I put it in there, it's a long story. I find hard to get rid of stuff, so I just leave it in there just in case you never know when you're gonna need it. That's what that box is for. Over here you have my multi-liners. So I do all of my lining work with this. I have Copic multi-liners. Everything is grayscale. So you have from black to white and all the gray tones in between. Stuff for comic book work. I have regular Sharpies to regular pens, but you get the idea. These are basically just um, multi-liners and pens. Over here you have more markers and stuff. This is more for my stepson. You know, some Sharpie markers and stuff that they can use here in the house. And um, here you have a box that really belongs in my duffel bag. Okay, and this stores my Posca pens and my paintbrushes, my fine lining paintbrushes that I take with me on my mural jobs to go together with that duffel bag. So that box goes right in that bag and then we're off to go do a mural. Now underneath, this is my spray paint kit for everything that I need, minus that respirator that we showed you earlier, is in here. So I have my you know, a little tarp, a little sheet protector or a little, you know, plastic protector. I have some spray cans down there. Like I said, everything in here is all about repurposing and recycling. So this is a Folgers uh, jar. So I drink coffee in the morning, coffee runs out. I take that coffee jar. These things are, these, th these things come in handy when it comes to putting water in there. So you can pretty much thin out your paints and clean your brushes, you know, because those things don't have a cap. These things don't have a cap to them. These things do. And that's exactly where I store my paint caps. And they're secure. All the acetone is in there. I'm gonna let them sit there for about another hour or two, rinse out the, the jar and clean out the caps. So definitely those coffee jars come in handy and they cost whatever you pay for your coffee. But you re recycle and you repurpose it. So over here, and we've done a complete 180, or whatever that degree is, I don't really know. And then we have this desk right here. So down here I have more gadgetry. I love gadgets, I love tech, especially when it comes to art. So here I have my little iPod, which is really an iPhone 5SE. I take it with me, put it in my back pocket, and I listen to music, Spotify. Um, here's my old iPad Air, which I used to use the Adonic Pixel Stylus with, 
That didn't go too well. I went through four boxes of Adonit Pixel styluses. They sent me my fourth one today. I just got it in the mail. And since I moved over to the Apple iPad Pro, I will not be needing it anymore. So I definitely will be doing a giveaway on this channel. And um, anyone who subscribes basically has just entered to win that free Adonit Pixel stylus. So, and these are the lights that I was showing you in the cans. So I got, ba basically I got about eight of these lights and they seem to do the job very well. They light up very well and they're at 5,000K, which I believe is the most important part of this. It's the color of the light that you're getting. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the lighting. Here I have my Wacom tablet and the stylus that goes with it. Again, I barely use it. Only when I absolutely need to go on the MacBook Pro to do graphic design stuff, or for the most part, that little puppy right there is a serious creative powerhouse and I'm so glad that I have it. I haven't, I, I, I haven't slept, basically. I've just been on that machine, analyzing it, using it, and it's been just, it's been awesome. We're gonna get into it in the future. There will be more videos to come where I will be reviewing that iPad Pro and we're gonna get to it. So let's continue. On this desk, it's just pretty much a foam board that I've cut to size where I keep my gadgets inside here, but I do my illustrations. And I also, this is the, the desk that's sitting right in front of my camera. So I also preview and review some of the products that I have here, and then I can hold it directly up in front of the camera to show the camera basically what I'm talking about and what I'm working with. This is my everyday carry bag where I keep with me different adapters, chargers, cables, my iPad Pro, a composition book, where I can pretty much write all of my ideas down for my next and upcoming YouTube videos. And then I'm going to take you right around this side of the camera because the lights may be too bright to point directly at it from the other side. And this is another thing that I found in the trash can. This is one of those wardrobe, sort of wardrobe on wheels rack thing that you find at stores or whatever. Somebody threw it out. I went, again, I cleaned it up, you know, I, I sanitized it, everything is all good to go. And it comes with a bunch of tubing and it extended to like somewhere out here. I didn't need it to go all that far, so I took that residual tubing and I pretty much configured my own setup to serve as a tripod. Now, back there underneath the desk, I do have a tripod, but it's a beast, super heavy, and it doesn't really serve um, the multi-purpose of having um, lights and your camera attached to it so I decided to go with this it was free again it was someone else's trash I took it cleaned it up repurposed it recycled it and now it's working for me perfectly exactly what I need here goes here are some more cans that I've pretty much zip tied together to prevent any accidents from it accidentally falling off but I can still manipulate it shine the light to me away from me angle it in different angles and then here we have my Canon Rebel T5i, where I pretty much shoot all of my YouTube videos. And I also photograph my canvas work and prints from above with the same lights, okay? They're on both sides, so I have a nice equal balance light and I take photographs and film of my paintings as well. So this camera has gone a long, long way. Super, super helpful. I love it. It's a Canon Rebel T5i. I've got a few lenses that are sitting right over there in that compartment for different purposes. Uh, right now I'm using a wide angle, um, what is it? A wide angle lens, 0.43x wide angle lens. It's a studio series from Polaroid. Uh, definitely does its job. And over here is where we have my easel. Where I, well that's Jose Marti. I'm doing a painting of Jose Marti. Um, he was a Cuban poet and revolutionary. I'm working on a painting of Jose Marti, and this is basically my traditional art section. And over here, I have all of my canvases piled up. They're all background and ready to go for a subject to go in the center. Maybe I turn them into abstract paintings. This is like my pending stack. So all of this is pending. I'm waiting for retouch. I'm waiting for you know ideas to come crashing on the canvases so I can finalize them and get them ready to go. And over here are my larger canvases that are primed and basically just hung up on a wall. Again, ready to go, waiting for the paint to come. Back here, I have two trays where I can pretty much keep, you know, paint cans with me and I take them with me on the go so I don't have to slouch over, bend over all the time when I'm at a mural job. 
That's another thing I found in the trash in case you can't tell. I guess someone didn't like those two slashes. So I found it, it was a brand new otherwise, brand new, cha brand new chair, great condition. Uh, I'm gonna pretty much seal this over. So I'm gonna, cut up, I'm gonna cover this with canvas or something, do some really cool art stuff out of it. But this fits right underneath the desk. Completely out of the way, right underneath the desk. Just like that. Right underneath my drawing desk. And of course, right underneath my other trash desk. Which, be honest, does it look like it even came from the trash? Looks brand new. Just took a little elbow grease to sand it down. So, I guess that is pretty much it. I just wanted to bring you into my world and to give you a little taste of what I work with on a daily basis. So I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough. Uh, I brought you into my personal space to kind of bring you into my world to kind of see how it is that I work on my equipment and my specific workflow. Maybe you guys got some creative ideas and maybe you want to start a YouTube channel of your own. Please subscribe to this channel and if you do make sure you hit the notification bell. I am trying to go to 1000 subscribers so that I can go live and um, really do some pretty cool stuff with you guys. So I'm really interested in the engagement. If there's any content that you guys would like to see me do, any reviews that you would like to do or any time-lapse art or time-lapse painting, let me know what kind of content you guys want. This is going to be an art channel, but that's a pretty general topic. Uh, let me know what you specifically would, would like to see created from this setup that I just showed you. You can follow me on social media at Rolio Artist and I'll see you next week during next week's video. Take care.